Jow Jow! Welcome to Taco Pops, my friends. I'm Taco, aka the Prosperous Nipple, P Nips for short, aka Lilo and Tits. And of course, my cousin, the legendary man himself who saves the environment by not wiping his ass crack. I'm Crotchman, <laughs> aka Sackboy Deluxe. <laughs> oh! Sackboy Deluxe. <laughs> I haven't seen Sackboy Deluxe in at least three months, baby. Oh, it's been a while, man. That's his alter ego, guys. And when Sackboy Deluxe comes out, best believe it's Deluxe. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. We've got a slightly tantalising episode for your tits today, your supple jugs, let me say. <laughs> We're going to be cracking part two of our podcast, guys. It's going to be a regular thing that Crotchman and I want to implement every month or so, just to give you a recap on where we're at in our journey, anything going on in the pop culture scene, I'm talking movies, actors, shows, songs, if you will, freshly released delicatessens for your supple tits, and everything else in between, baby. We're going to be discussing a lot of hot topics today. And, of course, so looking at some freshly released delicate poppies, powerful enough to get your tenderloins quivering, baby, to get them erupting like a bloody volcano. Am I not correct there, Crotchy? You are correct. I'm correct, guys. So... It's going to be a, quite a fun episode today, guys. You never know what you're going to hear. We're just going to be bouncing around topics. So without further ado, let's jack that udder of life, baby. Clean, dry, quench our parched palates and get straight into this one, my friends. And to kick things off naughty and seductive, crotch hub fashion, we're going to be slapping open this sexy, sexy package that we've been holding on to for about a week now, guys. It's killed us to hold on to this and not open it because the pops that are in here, Crotchman, what are the quality of these pops? Tell them. Tell them, Crotch. Oh, they're 100% quality. They, they're naughty. They're naughty. They're so naughty. And if you remember last episode, when Crotchman gets naughty items thrown at him, he'll say it to you, baby. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's open this box. <laughs> All righty, guys. Oh, we have waited for this. You've got a good firm grip on it, Crotchman, like your teats. I do. God, you're a wizard. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I've probably picked the most blunt knife in the market to open this, guys. All right, crotchy boy. Oh, oh my God. Do we have ourselves some fine fannies in this box, guys? What are your predictions, Crot? Oh, 100% fine fannies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've hit us with the double, the oh. bastards. Double boxy. That's bloody good, but I have to say, Crotchman and I love our impeccable packaging, guys, so I'm not going to complain right now. I really am not. But yeah, guys, we saw one of the specifically... God, what I picked this knife? <laughs> it's so blunt. It's not sharp at it's all. It's not sharp at all. Oh, well, Ooh. baby. They put that real close right there, guys, to that side. Thank God I didn't actually slit that. Slit it like a pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> pepperoni slices on my nipples. All righty, guys. This is a little sneak peek at what's to come in this box. But let me tell you. Can you hold this for a second, Crotchman? Shall do. This pop, guys... Oh my god, Crotchy. Oh my god! The three pack. Anakin Skywalker, Yoda, and Obi Wan on Endor. This. Alright, guys, I'm gonna say it. Last week, Crotchman and I made an episode. We said the uh, die cast Captain America was probably the best Funko Pop release this year. Yeah. This is pretty close behind it, Crotchy. Have 100%. a look at this, guys. For all the Star Wars fans out there, you know the holographic slappers are so hard to come across. They're OG variants, but they've recently released this fresh piece of pop meat for your succulent kids. And I have to say, guys, they absolutely nailed this. Obviously, our favourite part of this is the Anakin Skywalker. Um, as you guys know, they digitally remastered him into that last scene after the uh, film was digitally remastered. Yes. Yes, yes. But, like, guys, we love our hologram variants, and these are impeccable. I, well, well, give us a rating, Crotch, because, like, far out, I'm lost for words. Oh, so. 10 out of 10, man. Look at the design, the colour. The colour. It's so erotic. Look at the box art as well, guys. Have a look at that. No, nah, this is heavy contender. Three Force Ghosts slapping it in the paint. This literally makes me want to strip my tattered rags off my decadent body right now, oil it up with vinegar, light it on fire and scream for pleasure in the middle of the street while slapping my legs at 100 kilometers an hour. Vin Diesel on the Nostyle, baby. This pop right here is so fine and I... I Solid 10 out of 10 for us, guys. Solid 10 out of 10. And yeah, guys, if you're a Star Wars fan, please pick this up. Please pick this up. This... This is life. Oh, 100%. This is life, Crotchman. Butter up my tits and fry them in the sandwich toaster before putting me in the microwave for 2.3 minutes, sir, to crispen me up so I'm worthy to tantalise with this. This is a sex bot. <sighs> Crotch, 
Crotman slap out the second piece of erotica. Ooh. Ah, the hunter. I'll show a close up. And I'm talking him. man hunter. Man hunter. We ain't talking Crotchman. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what the hell, Crotchman? Oh. Turn the box around. Damage. Oh no. Damage Galactica 17. Screw me, Pop Lords. Screw me. Jesus. Oh, we really wanted this too, guys. Not too much damage, but I'm going to say I'm quite disappointed at that because. God oh, damn it. That's such a shame. That's dude. such a shame, but regardless, that's a fresh pop, guys. We love Martian Manhunter. Uh, Crotchman and I, we personally believe the Imperial line is a hot commodity in the scene. Hotter. Than Pornhub actress. <laughs> <laughs> Disregard, guys. I just couldn't think of a better metaphor. But yeah, Martian Manhunter. What a slice of erotica, guys. Awesome box. And that brings me actually onto the topic of the uh, new DC Imperial line, sir. Oh, yes. Got released here in Australia the other day, guys. So we've got the uh, Imperial Superman and the Imperial Green Lantern. Oh. Impeccable. Naughty. Impeccable. We love this Imperial line, but I have to say, I wish... Because I don't know if you didn't notice, but the uh, the new Imperial boxes for the DCs, they're white, mm. not, not red. I seen. And I, I just, I personally, but we, we love the red boxes, guys. So I don't know why they steered away from that. Yeah. But bloody hell, this is still a fiery pop, eh? Now, guys, the next pop was actually a movie that Crotchman and I only watched last night. And let me tell you, we were bloody impressed with this. And we're talking about uh, Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe Origins, guys. Oh. Don't tell me that's damaged too. Is it? No, I don't know, but that's sexy. Can I have a, have yeah, a gaze have at a this? Look. I don't think it's damaged. I don't think it's damaged. We got lucky with this one. Yeah. Crush, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, we were so impressed from this movie. What was the uh, actor's name here? Crotchman got it written down somewhere, oh. baby. I think his first name's Henry. Ah, that's right. Uh, Henry Golding. Yes, Henry, Henry Golding. Henry Golding, guys. We were so impressed by this. Snake Eyes, we loved him in the original G.I. Joe, what, release? The first time they released Snake Eyes was 2013. Yeah, yeah? 2013. 2013, we loved him then. And a fun fact about the 2013 release, actually, what was uh, G.I. Joe Retaliation? Bloody, the original Snake Eyes. Ah, uh, Ray Park. Ray Park, which you might recognise as Darth Maul, guys. Yeah. That is a fun, bloody piece of erotic information from a supple sack. Ray Park is an awesome actor. He played one of our favorite. <laughs> he played one of our favorite Sith Lords, and we were just so shocked to find out that he actually played the original Snake Eyes. But I have to say, the new actor that portrayed him, impeccable oh, guys, amazing actor. The fight scenes that Henry Golding actually did in this film were crazy. Yeah, the dude was peppering like forty dudes at a time. <laughs> man. Such assassin, such an assassin, such a ninja assassin. <laughs> God damn. It's been a couple of years now. We've wanted to see a good fight movie. Oh, it's, it's been, been on a the while. cards for a minute. It's been a while, baby. See so you yeah, guys. We're super happy with this. Funko exclusive Snake Eyes with his Pape Timber Ultimate. And you haven't seen the, the, the film yet, guys? Please. Please. Go watch it. Plaster your cracks on the couch. Oil up. And watch it. Please. <laughs> Please. Watch it. Please watch, watch it. Watch the film. <laughs> what did you think about the film, Crotty? What did you think? What did uh, you think about, uh, what was his name again? Henry Golding. Oh, dude, Henry Golding. The fight scenes were immaculate. Oh, immaculate. Like, I don't know, the choreography of the fight scenes. And, it, like, he, we found out he's half Malaysian, half British. And, oh, just impeccable Impe actor. Impeccable. And I have to say it, guys. I said it to Crotchman. Yeah, Henry Golding actually reminds me of young Crotchy here. In the whole movie, I was watching it the whole time. I was like, what hell? Am I watching Henry Golding Snake Eyes or am I watching Crotchman Goes Wild? It's me. It's, it's me. <laughs> and if you don't believe us, we're going to put up some old photos of Crotchman back in the day. It fully looks like you do. Yeah. I'll, I'll, smack, some, I'll smack some old photos. Come up. on, man. I'll smack them up. Oh, we're smacking them. But what else was he in? Uh, Crazy Rich Asians as well. Yeah. Bloody sick, man. Bloody sick. That was a funny movie. 100%. That was a good movie too. We yeah, yeah. actually didn't didn't mind that one. But um, I have to say, the one thing that got me in the movie, the quote when he was training. Oh, yeah. I wrote it down too. Right before he... Oh, actually, I can't do spoilers. Can't do spoilers. But a little quote pops up in his head where he says, Abandon ego. Selfishness and truthfulness will lead to harmony. My God. Yeah. What kind of a quote is that for a... Fighting film, Crotchy. Oh, dude, it was, it was such a such an amazing quote. It was an impeccable so film. So powerful. And what was the guy who trained him name? He's in that movie that we like, you know? Oh, uh, <laughs> yes. yes. 
I didn't give you too much context. <laughs> yeah, you I know the one. I know what you mean. Yeah, that guy was in the the raid. So for, <laughs> for the guys that haven't watched the raid, it's probably one of the best fighting movies ever. Hands down. So yeah, hundred uh, percent recommend watching the raid. I think there's like. One, or, I think there's two Ray movies. I've said the first one was the best. Yeah, the first one was the best. But yeah, this guy just like peppers so many people like an animal. Peppers them, peppers yeah. them. And what's really cool about it, he just looks like an average dude. You know, he's not too jack, too ripped. He's just look normal looking dude. Yeah, yeah. Then he engages in combat, and you're like, oh god damn, yeah. my pits are sweating like Niagara Falls right now because this is too much. He's master fighter. He's a master fighter, great actor, and I love the actors like that. Bit subtle. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Can I jab? Ow! You? Can I jab your gut? <laughs> yes. Come on. Yes. yes. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh. <laughs> you truly are. Wow! <laughs> Snake eyes. I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I have to say, I'm still pretty cut about that Martian man. I'm yeah, right yeah, now thinking yeah, about yeah. it. But what topics are we about to get into today, Crotchman? What have we got here? What are we going to talk about first? I'm going to talk about underrated pops. Cro yes. Underrated pops. Baby. Crotchman and I have been uh, talk, discussing underrated pops a lot recently because we've been finding there are so many hardcore slammers out there in the field, guys, that just don't get enough spotlight, don't get enough recognition because there are some bangers. Is there not, Crotchy? There's so many bangers. And to kick our underrated pops off today, Crotchman, the infamous duo. Yes. Grab them, I will sir. grab them. The first duo of pops will be shown to your supple tits today for underrated pops part one, my friends, is two infamous Infamous characters. I'm talking Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett, aka the bad boys, my friends. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence at their finest. Let me hold one for you, Crotchy. Yes. We personally believe, guys, Bad Boys 1, 2, and uh, Bad Boys for Life, some of the best movies ever created. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are some of the most talented actors known to men. Am I not correct there, Crotchman? Oh, dude, they're amazing. Definitely one of our favourites. One of our favourites. Crotchman and I will bloody like eight years old watching Bad Boys. Yeah, man. dude. We love them. And guys, to be honest, I've never actually seen these get posted on Instagram. I've, I've re rarely seen videos on these. And we just personally believe that Bad Boys deserves more like, guys. These are hardcore poppers. What's your favourite, Crotch? Bad Boys 1, 2 or Bad Boys for Life? Tell me now. Oh, I'll have to go Bad Boys 1. Bad Boys 1, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was thinking that. Bad thinking Boys that. 1, man. Bad Boys 1 is a classic. 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 It's my, my Larry. <laughs> <laughs> it's my Larry. But I have to say, guys, Bad Boy 2, Bad Boys 2, the Reggie scene. Yeah. We're not going to repeat it, but oh, classic. Yes. Classic. I'm pretty sure when we were in school, there wasn't a single student that didn't laugh at that one. <laughs> Reggie. Yes. And it was bloody hilarious that they added him in Bad Boys for Life as the dad of, of his daughter. Oh, <laughs> yes. It's like, he persisted through that whole ordeal, <laughs> baby. And Reggie, Reggie was as solid as it comes, my friend. <laughs> Reggie, baby. But yeah, guys, kicking off our underrated pops, we've got the bad... I'm, I'm, let's open these. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let's unbox these. Because guys, like, we, we actually forgot we even had these. I was going through the collection the other night, just having a bit of a gander, a bit of a geese. Came across these, I'm gonna shat my pants, dudes. <laughs> oh, look at that, guys. Marcus Burnett with that nice fade. Even down to the fade, that's detailed to the nines, baby. Yeah, man. Look at him holding that pistol ready for action there, guys. Top cop right here. Oh, this is so sick. That's sick. I love how they've given Mike the glasses, too. Yeah. Oh, he's, was pushing that Porsche, baby. <laughs> yeah. God damn, these are actually some of the finest pops. I don't know how these aren't getting more recognition, but look at these, guys. And if for any reason you are not a human being and haven't watched Bad Boys, you're going to finish watching this and please go watch it, guys. It is seriously so funny. And, and you won't see two actors mingle better and mesh together as well as uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence, man. Oh, dude, their, chemi oh. their chemistry was on point. <laughs> I, love, I, I love the scene where um, uh, Will Smith's got the gun to that guy's head and he's just like, um, he's like, oh, you know what? I forgot. <laughs> Anyways, Mark, yeah. like he says something to Will Smith, Mark Lawrence, and he's like, that's a damn shame, and turns yeah. around. Yeah. <laughs> We're just trying to get that guy to speak up. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hilarious. Yeah. What's next on our under... Oh, crotchy. I'm talking Batmans. Ah, oh, yes. But uh, not full Batmans, if you know what I mean, three, guys. Uh, these three, yeah. Can I have uh, Liam Neeson? Yes. Baby, the next underrated pop, another slapper that doesn't get enough spotlight. We're talking Ra's al Ghul, baby, a.k.a. Liam Neeson, straight from... What was this one? Batman Begins. Begins. Batman Begins. Batman Begins. The uh, leader of the... Uh, League of Shadows. League of Shadows, guys. And since we got this in the SDCC, which we personally believe is one of the best drops... 100%. 100%, guys. To this day, baby. <laughs> oh, for Eric. Come on, baby. 
Oh, yes, Eric. For Eric. For Eric. Eric. Hey, Eric. We love you, man. We love you, Eric. Yes, baby. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know how that went from Batman to that. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Anyways. Yes, baby. Back in, baby. <laughs> yeah, guys. Raz Al Ghul. How have we not... How is this not one of the finest pops? He's even got his bloody... Uh, what do you call that? The... Uh, oh, yeah. Is that a goatee? It's like some sort of handlebar goatee yeah. for the samurai. Handlebar no, no. Go go yeah, goatee. Goatee. SDCC 2020. This is an immaculate pop, guys. Raz Al Ghul. Infamous character. And really, he's responsible for Batman. Batman. He trained Batman, dude. So, bloody hell. And it's Liam Neeson, so no words needed for that. Next underrated poppy on the list. Crotchy, you show them the goods. We got this one. Oh, baby. Batman the Joker is wild. This actually doesn't even look like a pop to me. This is like some sort of designer toy. Like, I don't know, it's impeccable. It's a very unique looking oh, pop. Is the it not? Design's so it? sick, man. Look at it. It's just like it's a do it yourself pop. He's been plastered with a bit of graffiti, if you will. Graffiti. And let me just say this. <laughs> Back on. <laughs> we love this, guys. And, um,. I remember we had to wait for a nice three months for this one, but we really do think this is an underrated pop. It's vibrant, it's rare, and it's bloody sexy. It's got a bit of Joker to it and a bit of Batman. You got yourselves a 10 out of 10 slap before your supple tits, a.k.a. the Triple T threat, the tantalising tits yes. your tits, baby. So, yeah, Batman's coming in next as another underrated slapper. Ugh. What's the next underrated slapper? Crotchman, a legendary character. Rest in peace. Oh, one to of our favourites. One of our absolute favourites, guys. We're talking Heath Ledger as the Joker. Oh! Crotchman and I, one of our dream grails is the uh, bank robber variant of this one here. But, guys, we, we even the PPG for this, why is this not over $100, man? This is an absolute slapper of a pop. We love Heath Ledger, guys. We love Heath Ledger. In our person, we love um, what uh, Hakeem Fe Joaquin Phoenix did with the role. But, yeah. But in our eyes, it's, it's Heath. It's still Heath Ledger. It's Heath yeah. Ledger to us, guys. We, we personally think he's played the best Joker. He devoted himself a lot to that role, guys. And if you want to see a bit of the early Heath Ledger, like we said in the last podcast, go watch Home and Away. Home and Away. Home and Away, where he started his career with Chris Hemsworth, Margot Robbie, Nicole Kidman, bloody... Who else is in there, actually? Oh. That could be it. Yeah, I think they're, they're the three main ones. Yeah, go, go watch it, guys. Another good movie is uh, A Knight's Tale. That was yes. Good yes! That was a good one. Let's watch that later. Yes, 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 yes. But yeah, guys, that movie. Heath Ledger was an amazing actor and will always have massive respect. And that's why he's coming in as another underrated pop, guys. Even the box art on the back. Look how sinister our boy looks as the Joker. You don't even recognise him as Heath Ledger as he's playing the role. It's too much for oh, the tits, man. It's too much for this. Oh, oh God. Can you rub him? Yes. Like little oh, Nicky? Oh, oh, oh. Good luck with the nipple rubbing. I don't need luck. I'm good. Wow. You, <laughs> you really are, sir. You really are. Have we got, we got more underrated slappers, Crotchman? Two more poppers for your tits, sire. Yes. Yeah, guys, we, we've wanted to do this segment for a while because there are some amazing pops out there. The next one, Crotchman's going to show OG variant of Spider-Man 2099. Been seeing a lot of Spoderman recently. We've actually, actually been watching a lot of it too. But yeah, guys, this particular variant right here, it's top three in our Spider-Man collection. And we love it. We just feel it doesn't get enough recognition as well. Enough spotlight, enough uh, spice on the nipples, yeah? Oh, you got to spice those nipples you up. you got to spice up the nipples, you guys. you got to spice them up, baby. So we got to drop the old Spider-Man 2099 in there because that's a slice of erotica right there for my titty. <laughs> it's good for my titty. It's very good. Oh, my titty's so delicate. <laughs> <laughs> They're so spicy. <laughs> <laughs> that was so unnecessary. Well, uh, yeah, but it was nice. It was nice. Yeah, it was very nice. <laughs> I have to say, next one, guys, uh, secretly one of Crotchman and I's favourite movies, Moana. <laughs> yes. We love our Disney children's movies, guys. Crotchman and I will never grow up. That's that's a fact. <laughs> and, yeah, we, we love Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's why Big Maui here, Sharkhead Maui variant, is coming in as another underrated pop for your supples. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Like, this has so much detail, it's bloody cute. Look at the tribal tats from his belly upwards. And if that wasn't enough, they've even done the bit of a... Look at his feet and midway up his belly, guys. It's human form, then you see the slight transition to the shark head. It's just been done immaculate. Immaculate! And uh, before, like, I'm going to say about four months ago, I didn't even know this existed, which was a damn shame, because it's probably one of our favourite pops in the collection right now. So yeah, guys, Big Maui with shark head is coming in as another underrated poppy. Look at that, guys. If you haven't seen Moana, go see it, guys. I bloody... I loved it. Happy movie, good vibes, good for the tip. 
It's good for my titty. Good for your titty. <laughs> good for your titty. And uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, enable private mail. So I've been trying to private mail you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Please enable them, dude. Please, dude. God, after KD, we're just desperate to talk to another celebrity. Yeah, we, we, we just want that interaction, man. And KD, if you're watching, which I know you're not because you hate us now, unblock us, dude. Unblock us, Kevin. Unblock us. We're going to start a petition soon, KD. <laughs> and if you think you're a smart, sneaky boy, joke's on you because we actually found someone that works in the arena and we're going to get him to engage you so we're <laughs> yes. coming for you, you think just because we're in australia we can't reach you kd we reach you baby we'll reach you we're reach coming you. for you you're naughty but yeah guys we're since since kd left our lives we are we're quite sad and desperate yeah. <laughs> no, we, are. we just we just want a bit of celebrity love a bit of oh, celebrity love dude. all right crotchy what's the uh what's the next topic we're gonna slap on today you naughty Venomized pops. We're going to show a bit of a top yeah, three. Yeah, we'll show our top three venomized poppies. Wow, guys! With the release of <laughs> Venom Two coming out, Crushman and I are very keen. We love Woody Harrelson. We love Tom Hardy. What better opportunity than to drop our, our top three venomized pops? We've got quite a few venomized pops, but we've never really put them in the spotlight before. So, what better opportunity? Number one for us. This is our top venomized pop. It might not be the rarest. But damn it, I personally think this is visually the most appealing, the most, uh, what's the word for that? Uh, seductive. Seductive, you nerdy criminal. So seductive. That's a seductive Venomized poppy there, guys. Love Captain America, love the shield, love how they, they put the Venomized, uh, yeah, keep doing that. They, they put the Venomized straps around the shield. God damn, this is sexy. I want to rip this out of the box right now, oil him up, put him in my cleavage and scream for honour. Not pleasure. <laughs> but yeah, guys, number one of our venomized poppies, Captain America, baby. <laughs> Crotchman, bring out Hiddleston. Oh, Hiddleston. Yeah, bring out Hiddleston, you naughty. You naughty, Tommy boy. Tom Hiddleston, coming number two. We're talking venomized Loki, guys. And while we're on the topic of venomized Loki, good, huh? It's good, huh? Bloody good. Bloody good. Bloody excellent. Excellent. Good. Yeah, guys, we love the Loki show. Tom Hiddleston absolutely peppered the role like a seasoned chef, and I ain't talking Gordon Ramsay. But yeah, guys, we've always got a soft spot for Loki, and I just personally believe this this particular venomized Loki pop is immaculate, baby. This makes my tits want to explode and just produce milk right now and drown myself in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, guys. You've got the long black hair. Even the gold on this thing pops out, and I ain't talking Anunnaki. <laughs> <laughs> Back up. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is a sick, sick piece. God damn, rip my teeth out and flush me down the toilet because this is a slice <laughs> of erotica. <laughs> what do you reckon of this piece, Crotchy? Oh, it's, yeah. it's good. I think you explained it so perfectly, dude. <laughs> it's bloody good. It's bloody good. And uh, coming in at number three, Crotchy, show them the goods yeah. in there, Chef. Magneti. We got big venomized Magneto, my friends. 2024 convention. This is a sex bot. This is a sex pistol. This is a Chippendale stripper. <laughs> and we ain't talking... But Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. Channing Ma Magic Tatum. Mike. Magic Mike. This is Magic v Magneto, the stripper. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we think this is a banging venomized poppy. Just the fact that that blue pops out of the black like an actual mammal. I love I love the colour scheme of this. I love everything about it. Even Magneto and X-Men. We love a bit of Magneti. No, oh, I love him. Love him. And yeah, this one takes number three, guys. I wish all of our venomized pops had a sneaky convention yeah. sticker. Makes I really them... like his uh, magnetic body. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's the relevance of that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bloody hell, guys. Like, hey, Crotchman likes it because of his magnetic body. I just think it's aesthetically appealing. So, <laughs> so one last look. Venomized Magneto there, guys. We've got a lot more. This was a very hard decision to choose our top three. I also would have put uh, Glow in the dark venomized human torch yes. as well that's a very good one uh shane's recent gift to us as well bloody venomized kingpin oh yeah that's another one for the slappers <laughs> oh, <damn>. oh. <laughs> that kingpin dude that kingpin gets my pin rocking gets the pin he's rocking guys <laughs> but yeah we just wanted to dabble in the venomized line today because that movie has got our tits twisting yeah. like tornado wait rewind that let me take it back that film has our tits twisting like tornado guys we are so excited for this film we had to dabble it today i said this like in every episode so far this hurts <laughs> <laughs> what's the relevance of that <laughs> that's so good call, call me twister <laughs> <laughs> is that one of kd's favorite movies yeah twister yes we well, say we know you kd we know your favorite movie is twister <laughs> yeah that's why he did that <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? 
block us, dude. <laughs> Please. And it's on the next topic. <laughs> We're going to talk about a trailer right now. Ooh. A trailer that involves spiders biting your gut. Oh, my gut. Well, he's not really biting the gut. I'm talking about... Oh, no, that's all right. Spider... <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man No Way Home. Is it No Way Home? No Way Home's a No new Way one. Home, yeah. baby. That trailer came out the other day. <sighs> what are your thoughts, Crotchman? Because I'm a shat my undies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a shat my undies and I'm going to fart and put a hole in it, so... Oh, that explains it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew you oh, dude, I knew I'm, you I'm very excited, man. Um, they're bringing back uh, like an old character, Octopus. Yeah, Octopus. Oh, God, man. God, Green Goblin. Green Goblin. I saw Electro in there yeah. as well. Come so on, so much nostalgia, man. And oh. Um, oh, dude, it's coming out December, end of the year for us. God damn, I'm craving Spidey. I'm craving We're him. craving him, craving him. And recently, Crotchman and I have been marathoning uh, Tom Holland as Spider-Man because we've been trying to decide who's our favourite. We've got Tom Holland. Is it Andrew Garfield? Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire. Yeah. But we're going to say it. Tom Holland, yeah? Tom Holland. Tom Holland, man. He really surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love it. <laughs> Mm, mine are a bit tender from yesterday when we were slapping. Yeah. They're supple. They're supple. supple. I started putting um, cocoa butter on it. It just softened. Oh, it yeah. Mm. That's such a good moisturiser. Yeah, because I, I plucked the hairs around my nipples the other night. It's like, oh. it's so tender, dude, from the root. So I put lotion. I was like, oh, this is actually really nice. And I cut a bit of aloe vera too. I was from. thinking about plucking mine. You should. Yeah. You should. Anyways. Yeah. Back in, baby. <laughs> Tom Holland Spiderman. Wow. Bloody good. I love his personality, dude. Mm. I don't know. I love the other Spider-Mans, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, but I just found they're a bit too emotional for the role for me. I feel like Spider-Man's supposed to be, you know, funny, a bit of humour, doesn't take things too serious. Yeah, yeah. And that's what Tom Holland brought. Yeah. He brought it. I don't know. I liked him in Infinity War, Crotchman. I'm going to say he didn't blow me out of the water, baby. But in Homecoming, he did. Yeah. He did. Oh, he's, he's a really good actor, man. And, like, a fun fact is that Stan Lee said that Tom Holland was, like, the most accurate depiction of Spider-Man. I, I believe that. Because Spider-Man, what Stan Lee said, he was meant to be, like, really young, and he was meant to have, like, a slender build. And <laughs> you notice that he's very slender. So, so, so not us. Yeah, not us. <laughs> dude, no way this guy's going to be Spider-Man, dude. Oh, my God. I'll be weighing everyone down. <laughs> dude, I'd want to see that as Spider-Man. What do you mean? Don't exclude us all. <laughs> but, yeah, like... I agree. He is very Spider-Man. I watched uh, Andrew Garfield, The Amazing Spider-Man, one and two the other day, and ah, just just didn't pluck my hairs like mm. uh, like Holland did. Didn't pluck my thighs. Didn't slap my cap. Didn't get my tits jiggling. It was good, but it was an amazing baby, which was a statement because it was called The Amazing Spider-Man. Come on, baby. Anyways, but Tom Holland, we love it. We're excited for this movie, man, and I uh, I'm keen to see if totally like. Because they how they say the other Spider-Men are going to be in this new one. Tobey Maguire, what does he look like now? Yeah, dude. I swear it was an eternity ago that he played Spoderman. So I'm keen to see Tobey Maguire slap it again. I really am. Yeah, where is he? <laughs> where is he dude? What that, is Tobey Maguire doing? That's what I want to know, dude. I literally haven't seen Tobey Maguire for many years. So it'll be nice to see. I want to see if he's hairier, if he's wrinklier, if he's more <laughs> slender in the paint. I ain't talking Giannis. I think he's hairier. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm thinking hairy too. I'm thinking hairy, but yeah, all in all, guys, we, we've been uh, watching a bit of reviews on the uh, the tra upcoming trailer as well, and it's all good reviews. Everyone yeah. seems to be over the moon, and it's gonna be amazing. It is, and I think that's exactly what we need right now. Uh, life's a bit interesting at the moment, so it'd be good to have a nice slice of cinematography out there in the paint for us to, you know, jack the tits to. Yes, Crotchman. Yes. Oh, oh. Now, I have to say, oh, we just answered it, actually. Put your top three in order. So, I know Tom Holland's number one. Who would you put next, Toby or Andrew? Tell me. Oh, it's hard. It's hard. I'm going to say Andrew. Yeah. I'll probably have to agree with you. Yeah? Um, yeah, Toby Maguire just didn't do it. No, he me, man. didn't, man. I don't know. He just didn't do it. Like, he was, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but he yeah, just didn't do it He for didn't me. do it to me. But, but, like, to be fair, he was one of the first. And I know, like, I feel like other superheroes now can kind of have a gauge of where they need to be. Yeah. At, whereas Toby Maguire was a bit lost because it was like... The first of his kind. That's kind it, of, yeah, yeah, 100%, yeah. Man. But, yeah, I'm, I'm agreeing. Tom Maguire third, Andrew Garfield second, Tom Holland first. Tom Holland first, yeah. Guys, we'd love to hear your opinion on the upcoming movie, so please drop your theories in there. We're into the theories right now. And just, just tell us what you think of the what do you think of the upcoming movie, what are you expecting, and uh, who's your favourite Spider-Man, baby? Tell our tits now, don't be selfish.
Yeah, tell my breast. Tell his breast. Tell my breast and my right nipple. <laughs> this <laughs> one. This one is a, is a good guy. Not this one. Yeah. That's Jerry. Yeah. That's Newman. Yeah. Tell him. Newman's good. Jerry's been he's been playing up lately. Go go Jerry. Uh, Newman's a <laughs> sometimes, dude. I don't, know. I don't know. I tell Newman something and Jerry agrees, but Newman doesn't. So, you know, uh, out of your nipples, Newman's my favorite. Oh, I love my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> oh bloody hell, I hope Tom Holland shows a bit of nipple in this one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what a, what an enticing cinematography yeah. that'll be. Well, that's going to be very nice. <laughs> if he shows nipple in the theatre, we'll slap. Yeah, deal. Deal, deal, that deal. Another good movie, Marvel Immortals. Oh, the Immortals. What did you think of the trailer? Angelina Jolie, Yeah, baby. I love Angelina Jolie. God, Tomb Raider just rocked my nipples. Oh, God, Tomb Raider. <laughs> the first Tomb Raider. Dude, she is a, she is a specimen, man. Oh, <laughs> Angelina Jolie. Even my partner, Kat, Angelina Jolie is one of her favourite actresses, too. She yeah. loves... Well, even when I showed her the... Uh, Kat's not too big into Marvel, but I even showed her the Immortals trailer the other day and a bit plucked from Angelina being in there, so... We're keen for that. Oh, We're so keen. keen. For that. And they've also got uh, Jon Snow for all the Game of Thrones uh, fans out there. He'll he'll be making an appearance as well as one of the characters. Oh, and I've never watched Game of Thrones, guys. I'm I'm trying. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> but I have to. Say, Jon Snow's acting. What would you level it at? What would you rate it? Oh, at? he's. An, like, he, I've never seen him. The actor's name's Kit Harrington. Ten, oh, nine out of ten acting. Far I don't know, out. Like, yeah, like he was an amazing character. Um, <laughs> But yeah, he very high level actor. I highly recommend. Oh well, if you wanted to Harrington, if you wanted to pluck my nipples, you've done it. I'm gonna pluck them again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Well, God, I'm gonna watch Game of Thrones. Oh! <laughs> Crotchman for the last two years has only said the best things about it. I tried yeah. to watch season one. I couldn't find it, man. <laughs> you know what? You know what's funny? When 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 Taco and I go for a, to have cigarettes, <laughs> like we always talk about TV shows, and I'm I'm like to Taco. <laughs> Yeah, Game of Thrones, dude. <laughs> like, you should give it a try. And he's just like, yeah, yeah, I, I should, eh? <laughs> <laughs> two years straight. <laughs> it's been like two years, but, you know, eventually Taco will watch it because it's amazing. I will get into it. I, I did try to find it two weeks ago. I found every season except for season one. I was disgusted and I oh. threw up in my mouth and swallowed it again. Oh, that's, that's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I do want to watch a bit of yeah. uh, Game of Thrones. I love, nine out of ten, that's hardcore acting. Yeah, right I love Jon Snow, baby. God damn. Damn it. So yeah, we're really keen to see what the Immortals movie is going to, you know, deliver to our tits there, guys. We've been seeing the future releases of the pops from the film. They look great. Yes. They look great. Impeccable. And I don't know, recently, in Infinity War and Endgame, we thought Thanos was, like, the baddest guy in the yeah. universe. What's going on recently? you got Kang. Oh, Kang. Okay. Yeah. you got all the Immortals now. They even addressed it in the, in the trailer where they were like, where were you and Thanos? And they were like, oh, we weren't allowed to interfere. And you're like, Christ's sake. Yeah. Like, it's just been a massive eye-opener recently. Like, Thanos is a little ant. Z yeah. Zoolander ant compared to these, <laughs> you know, compared to these Immortal beings, dude. So, yeah, Bloody hell, Crotchman, I'm keen to see it, dude. If you're in the same cinema as us and you hear waxing, best believe it's just us waxing our cracks for pleasure. <laughs> We're keen for this movie, guys. <laughs> <laughs> For this movie. I'm so keen. Oh man, who else was in there? Did we see any other good actors? Bloody. Oh, I swear oh. there was another one that we picked out. And we we're like, oh. Yeah, I forgot on top of I my head. I forgot too, yeah. yeah. Man, it's because we're naughty. We're so naughty. Oh. Next topic, crotch. Eh? Diverting away from heroes and such, back into our personal lives, you naughty shave, drunken chimp. I am a chimp and I'm naughty. Mm. <laughs> Have you had contact with the mother chimp since you left her? Oh, no, nah, man. I've been trying. I actually went out to the bush the other day. Just trekking for like multiple hours and yeah, I can't find her. Well, I heard you crying in the toilet the other day. I didn't want to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know anyone heard that. I was listening. Yeah, dude. I was, I've been crying a lot. <laughs> we'll go back out. We'll find the mother chimp again so you can suck on her breast. Dude, I need that breast. Hmm. How many times were you sucking the breast a day? Oh, uh, probably like seven times. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, oh, she gave me so many nutrients. Did you even leave enough milk for the other chimps? No. <laughs> so you basically sucked it dry. Yeah. <laughs> God, that's so selfish of you, God, son. God, I miss that breast. Oh, wow, you selfish breast boy. <laughs> Anyways, back in. Where were we going with that, guys? Uh, top three funniest movies. Top three funniest movies, you shave them, chimp. Oh, God, <laughs> there's so many. I'll, I'll definitely have to list Superbad. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Super bad is just like epic, man. One of our favorites growing yeah. up. Yeah, I love that that scene. Actually, in one of our older episodes, Taco and I actually reenact the running scene uh, with with um with Seth and Evan when they're having a look at that girl because she got the breast implant. Yeah, yeah. I need to take a look at these. Cl- let's take a closer look at these warlocks. Yeah, when they run, let's take a closer look at these warlocks. <laughs> oh, super bad, <laughs> epic. Michael Sarah, baby. Oh, dude. Michael Sarah. McLovin. Oh. <laughs> when um when, <laughs> when Michael Sarah's in the bathroom drinking by himself, he's like, oh. Yeah. And he like leans yeah. back. Yeah. Oh. That's the guy that sings. <laughs> you my my cousin came all the way here from Scottsdale, Arizona. And you're not gonna sing for him? <laughs> yes! You sing, and you sing good. You sing good. <laughs> He's like, and what, how, what does he sing? He's like, I cry. Those eyes cry, the- <laughs> cry every night, cry every night for you, for you. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all just smashing lines. <laughs> God, I've seen that scene before, and I'm talking film. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, super bad's up there for sure. Uh, Pineapple Express, oh, baby. Dude. Seth Rogen and Big James Franco. Yeah, man. Pineapple. Oh. Love Pineapple Express, man. <laughs> Which we've had uh, many nights watching Pineapple Express. <laughs> yes. Do you know what scene I randomly like in Pineapple Express? Is that scene where Seth Rogen throws the mobile phone. <laughs> the- <laughs> he throws the mobile phone into the bush. <laughs> my phone is now smashed. <laughs> <laughs> My phone is now smashed. <laughs> and when they wake up in the car the next morning, uh, clock radio? So boring, man. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, that's so good. And, and when uh, James Franco hides in the dumpster, he's like, get out of there. He's like, I'm ready in the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pineapple. Uh, Super bad Pineapple Express. What's another banger for our tits? Uh, what's that? Um. With, Joe, with everyone in the house. Oh, this is the end. This is the yes. end. Yes. Classic, dude. This <laughs> yeah. is the end. Yeah. Where um, James Franco and Danny McBride are having the fight. Yes. I will wherever the hell I want. It is. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> like a goddamn pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that has to be up there. What? A million ways to die in the West. Oh, Seth MacFarlane. And guys, if you watched our last episode with Crotchman ripping the farts, we actually got that from uh, A Million Ways to Die in the West. Yeah. Where his dad is like, isn't that right, dad? <laughs> Ow! <Yeah. laughs> we lost it when we watched it. So we're going to put that in there. That was the best, man. Oh, that was another one. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> Do you know what's another hilarious movie? And I feel like it flies under the radar a bit. Year One with Jack Black oh. and, and Michael Sarah. What the hell, dude? That is such a funny movie. Dude, that was so hilarious, man. Guys, if you haven't watched Year One yet with Jack Black and Michael Sarah, they're basically two cavemen back in the day. <laughs> yes. It's so funny. Please go watch it oh, after this. That's epic. Oh, dude, that's another guy. Anger Management, Jack Nicholson and uh, <laughs> Adam Sandler. I want to do his smile. He's like... <laughs> dude, Jack Nicholson's epic, man Legendary Yeah, so good, dude What's your favourite scene from that? Like, I have to say mine's the one with the highway And he stops and he makes him sing um, I'm so pretty Oh, yes Oh, and Galaxia Galaxia, aka Woody Harrelson <laughs> What's your name, baby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or that scene where like, he speaks to Galaxia Who's working out as a security guard And he lets him go onto the field He's just like, go, go <laughs> What do you say? Hebrew Melvin has found love. He's found love. He's found love. <laughs> Galaxia cannot stop love. <laughs> Dude, Galaxia mm. was one of Harrelson's finest characters. I feel like that also flies under the radar a little bit. Yeah. Dude, Galaxia. All right, anger management's there. And um, I have to say this as well. Crotchman and I, we really like a bit of uh, Zac Efron over the years as he's yeah. progressed in his career. He's actually bloody hilarious now. That's hilarious. So I'm going to say Bad Neighbours 1 and 2. Yes. Oh, <laughs> my God. The Crotchman and I in Bad Neighbours 1, where uh, he's trying to get the attention of Zac to look up the oh, stairs. Oh, the dance battle. And he does the point. Yeah. The dance battle. <laughs> he was like, oh, he's like, oh, no. He's like, hey, Zach's just like, huh? Huh? so confused. Oh. And Seth Rogen's like so confused, and Zach Efron's just like, huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, huh? <laughs> oh. Bad Neighbors 1 and 2 is legendary. Oh, legendary. It. And I, we're going to say it. Zach Efron is a ripped beast in that. Oh, he's, he's a ripped beast. Where um, Seth Rogen looks out the window with uh, Rose Byrne. 
And then Zach's next to the pool with the beer, like doing that little hip thrust. Yeah. <laughs> dude, he's an Adonis, man. He, he really is. Yeah. Zach Efron and Baywatch, man. Oh, oh dude. my God. That guy was like 1% body fat. <laughs> like, like literally 1% body fat. <laughs> Thank you for that very cryptic and irrelevant piece of information. <laughs> yeah. He was funny in that too, but we yeah. have to say, Zach Efron, babe, we had yeah. to get in that. What's. Well, oh. Couple of pops we ordered the other day. Dodgeball. Oh, yes. Also in that list of funny movies, man. Yeah, Ben Stiller, man. Oh, <laughs> my God. What's his name? White Goodman, is it? White Goodman. Yeah. White Goodman. And the uh, what was the gym called? Average Jones. Average Jones. Average Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Michelle. And I love it when he does the click and Michelle pops up on the scooter. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, dodgeball's legendary. And, um, yeah, guys, we actually ordered a couple of dodgeball pops the other night from eBay because, bloody hell, I also think they were also underrated pops. Oh, even, yeah. Even the price. I thought they were going to be PBG above 100. We picked up uh, White Goodman for, like, 50 bucks, dude. Dude, and, that's a um, bargain. It's a bloody bargain. Bloody bargain. It's a bloody bargain. It's a it's bargain. A bargain. bargain. Mate, you like a good bargain today. I got a bargain. Well, I got a bargain for you, mate. You like a White Goodman for a bargain. Can you give me a bargain? I'll give you a bargain. I'll give you two bucks. I want a bargain. You want two bucks? I want two bucks. What about three bucks? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll, take, I'll take three bucky over two bucky. Oh, yeah, I'll give you three buck then, because that's a good bargain. Yeah, I'll put it in my bag. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, let me ten bucks, baby. We're moving on. Yeah. Let me uh, quench my palate, Scrooge. Yeah, yeah, let's move on. God damn it. Yeah. But I will give you that three bucks. Yeah. Back, good bargain. Yeah, I'll, de be, I'll deposit it later. <laughs> <laughs> that's damn good juice, <sighs> damn it. That's good juice. Very good juice, eh? Good juice. I eh? really like that juice. I eh? like the pulp, eh? All right, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we've, been, we've been talking crap for like two minutes. <laughs> all right, all right. I've dived into this as ah. One thing that we've never really dived into: top horror movies. Crossman, what made you that scared that you shat yourself and let the poo build up in yundies? Go. Ooh, many yeah. many times I've shat myself <laughs> and I felt the building up of the feces. Yeah, I'll, I'll name the movies. <laughs> well, that's actually a question later. So yeah, save, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. save that. I'll save that. Save that. Um. Oh, uh, probably the Chuckies. Oh, Chuckies with the. Oh, we should show the Chucky. Sign Hog. Oh, grab him. Andy Vincent. You got us to slide those new yeah. ones. Yeah, we'd love the Chuckies, guys. Crotchman, I grew up on the uh, Child's Plays. And uh, I have to say as well, another movie that absolutely scared the crap out of my delicate tenderloins. Actually, show the Chucky first. Yeah, show him. Big Chucky send, signed by uh, Andy Vincent, guys. Who played... Was it Andy Vincent or Andrew Vincent? Uh, no, Andy. Andy Vincent. I think Andy Vincent, Andy yeah. Vincent, and he played Andy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, he yeah. actually did, yeah. Bloody hell, guys. Classic. Crotchman and I saw this. We had to pick it up. I have to admit, but I originally thought that this was signed by Chucky. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's yeah. what we thought. But, like, Andy is... He, he is Child's Play. Like, so... We love this pop still. Love it. But yeah, Child's Play's up there. The Grudge. Oh, The Grudge. The Grudge, dude. Sweet mother of Abraham, tits shaved. Wow, that scared the crap out of me, man. And The Ring. Oh, The Ring. The Ring scared me. To this day, if the TV's off, you know, I'm still a bit, like, paranoid what's going to come out of that thing. So, yeah, The Ring. The Exorcist. Exorcist. Oh, Exorcist. What else, baby? I don't know. Crotchman and I, we love horror movies, but it's not the highest in our categories. No. We're a bit... A bit scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm very scared. Me too. I'm just over, just like, just, oh, I was going to, yeah, I won't say it. I don't want to swear, but God, I shat myself many times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you keep going back. You obviously want to talk about this. <laughs> and I did write this down. Crotchman and I do joke a lot about crap in our pants. So I'm actually going to share a story where we actually did crap our pants. You first. <laughs> you first. Okay, I've crapped my pants on many occasions, but the first time I actually remember crapping my pants... I was probably like 14 years old and my mum was in the toilet and she would not open the door and I'm literally begging her, I'm like, mum, please, I'm about to poo. <laughs> and then she's just like literally just didn't open the door. And like my sister saw me and I like literally just dropped to my knees and I just felt this building up. <laughs> I, I, like, I like felt it. It was like a balloon just like get like you blow air into a balloon and it was just, it was, it was just increasing and I was just like, no. I did it. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Yeah, it was amazing, dude. Uh, we did it like smear. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that shower. I was in there for like half an hour, man. It smeared. Wow, we've really got nothing left to hide. Well, muzzle well shit, too. <laughs> the one time where I almost and slightly shat myself when I dropped you to work that morning. <laughs> I dropped Crotchman to work and I had to poop badly, dude. And I remember I started crying on the drive home. <laughs> 
and I was like lifted off my seat a little bit. I was crying because I was oh. like, like I can't do this, but I did it. <laughs> oh, dude, it's like uh, it's the worst, man. It's bloody, but but like at the same time, you're proud of it because it's like who else is like. Yeah, we shat ourselves. It's nice. Yeah, and I'm, I'm proud of it to this day. <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> yeah, we're going to keep going from that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just keep getting an image of, like, poo building up now. <laughs> All right. Favourite superhero movie is Shave Chimp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're from <laughs> pants to superhero movie. I'm still thinking about the poo. Um, but, yeah, my favourite... Superhero movie, personally. I'll have to go with the first Captain America, the first Avenger. Ah, I love the cat, man. I love him. Big red skull. <laughs> yes. Man. Dude, he's been on our list for grails for so long. So long. And, guys, we had one opportunity to get him. We went down to our local store, and um, our boys actually put it aside for us because they wanted to give us the first crack at him. 400 AUD. And the only thing that was wrong with it was a slight crease. It wasn't even that big of a crease. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad of a crease. We passed on it. We're like, you know what? We might find one. We have not seen one online for at least four months. Yeah. We're, that is our one biggest regret of not purchasing Red Skull. Yeah. Like I saw, I was looking at one the other day, $600, and the box was mangled, yeah. dude. I was like, far out, man. Like, majority of them you see on eBay, like, they're just all damaged. I do. Yeah, man. So, yeah, yeah. I, I can understand why that's your favourite movie, but I can also understand that that's heartbreaking to hear that because, yeah. like, we really messed up with that one, Crotchy. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, mine's a combination of uh, Infinity War yeah. and the first Thor. The first yes. Thor, baby. Well, that, was, that was something else. Oh, dude. The first Thor was amazing, man. And I remember prior to seeing because before watching the first Thor we'd only seen Chris Hemsworth in uh, Home and Away Home and Away yeah so like yeah you see this jacked unit appear on the screen you're like what the hell is yeah. this yeah how he's getting changed and thing he's just like oh for like a crazy guy he's pretty cut like yeah his chest is popping like a mammal, dude. Oh, shout out to Natalie Portman again. Portman. Ah. You're naughty. Portman. Portman. But yeah, <laughs> love the first Thor, babe. <laughs> and the actor you're most excited to see in the future. Oh, I need to know this, actually, because I've, I've been thinking about this a lot recently, randomly. Ooh. In, the, in future films coming up? Uh, just in general. Like, what? who are you most excited to see work? Oh. Like, just from what you've seen already kind of a thing. Oh, God, that's so... It's hard, eh? It's so hard. There's so many, like, amazing actors out there. I'm going to say two. I'm going to say two. I'm going to say Michael B. Jordan. Yes. I love Michael B. Jordan and what he did with Creed's. And um, bloody hell, what's that new one that's coming out? Like Jordan's Diary or something yeah, like that? Yeah, that, it's like a wow. romance sort of movie, yeah. He is a... Michael B. Jordan's amazing. I can't wait to see him. And recently, a new one, and I had to state this, Jonathan Major, Kang. Jonathan, yeah, Jonathan, Jonathan Major. Yeah. Was it Majors or Major? Majors, I think. Majors. Yeah, yeah. He is amazing. Yeah. We've only seen him in the one scene so far, which we won't state which episode, but he, bloody hell, I'm really excited to see what he does with that role, baby. Oh, dude. Lather my nips and get the ants to bite him because I'm, I'm really him. excited. I'm excited, sir. <clears throat> bloody hell, this makes, this actor makes me want to, like, wax my whole facial hair off and just, like, leave two little strips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that excited to see him yeah. work. Yeah. So bloody hell, bloody... Who else is there? Who else are we excited to see work? Crotchman? Crotchman? Oh. Crotchman? They're, they're hard to top because, yeah, like like Kang as Jonathan Majors. Um, yeah, Michael B. Jordan just annihilates everything he touches. Everything! Everything he touches is just... Where did he come from? God, dude. <laughs> Where did he come from? He's so ripped. <laughs> 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 in uh, Creed 2, Crotchman and I always watch the uh, training montage to get a bit motivated. Yeah, Whereas dude. in the desert, we yeah, like dude. it. But yeah, def definitely uh, Michael B, Jonathan Majors. Oh, I love seeing the talented actors, Crotchman. Oh, there's so many. So many good actors. All right. This one I snuck in there because I'm craving because we're currently in the market to buy a hefty grail. What, name three grails you tease for in the future. Any grail that we're craving. In, in this list I put here, I put Red Skull, Bank Robber Joker, and Leonidas from 300, but special honourable mention to Hologram Darth Maul, but obviously that's in a different league. Yeah. So that's, that's what I'm stating. Ooh, I love the Hologram Pops, man. Like, oh, like we really need to get Hologram Obi-Wan Kenobi, oh. like Hologram Darth Vader too. They're about 2,000 AUD <laughs> for us, but <laughs> god damn, I wish... <laughs> 
I wish we had money right now, man. Because like that full hologram Star Wars set is just it's such a hot commodity. It's a hot commodity. Um but we yeah, d- definitely those two. We need those so badly, man. Especially after seeing this, dude. This, yeah, man. This has reignited the hologram flame within. Yeah. That is sexy, dude. There's just something about the hologram pops, eh? Like, oh, like it's it's like it's it's obvious why they're Probably the most expensive set you can buy. No, hundred percent, and they're so hard to find too. So hard dude. to find. If you were to choose between though, if you had both of them in front of you, you had a hologram um, Darth Vader, or you had a hologram Obi Wan Kenobi, the uh, special edition, which would you choose? Ooh. Hit me. Oh, I probably have to go Vader. Oh, he's naughty. Yeah, I love Obi Wan, but that's Jimmy va- Timber. That's Vader, man. God, it's it's so succulent. It's dude. hot and succulent. And what is good about the Vader? It's got the. Uh, Original OG glow in the dark sticker was like yeah. so large, dude. I oh, love that. That's amazing. We're definitely gonna get it one day. Yes, but I have to say, Leonidas. We're currently uh, having a gander at a Leonidas on a, one of our local websites here. It's five hundred AUD. Yeah, we're tossing it up every night, guys. We're having shots. We're we're getting to, into various states of mind to decide if we want this pop. Yeah, dude. That's a lot of money, man. Yeah, that's a lot of breast milk to be sold. Sparta <laughs> <laughs> for Sparta. <laughs> I wish I had abs, man. I really wish. I wish my abdomen was rippled abs. I watched it again the other night. I was like, what, what kind of oil packet is this? Dude, those Spartan warriors, what? This is obviously 300 of them. <laughs> <laughs> In my head, I was like, how many of them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crotch. There's 300. That's the bloody title of the movie. You're naughty. <laughs> the final scene where he gets shot with the arrows like this. <laughs> what an honourable way to die. Yeah. <laughs> He's got such pain in his eyes. <laughs> oh, far out, man. So many arrows. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be, like, one of the most dramatic deaths <laughs> in film history, dude. 100%. Uh, do you reckon that the guy filming at the time laughed? 100%. Come on, dude. man. Can you get a photo and put that up so people can see what we're talking yeah, about? Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely put it up. Like, who the hell gets, like, 20 <laughs> arrows to the body and, like, after the 10th arrow, he drops his knee and then he's just like... <laughs> and his teeth are so clenched. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you now, if I, if I go out, that's how I'm going to go out. <laughs> and I want someone to catch it on film like that. Just... Because <sighs> that, that's... A, what an honourable death. Dude. Oh, it's so honourable. But, yeah, 300. So you might see that in the next few episodes, guys. But I'll tell you what, if, we, if you're going to see it, You'll know. <laughs> well, we're going to make a big deal from that. You'll know, man. We won't eat for a while, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> 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 All right, Karaji. Favourite fight films or film? Now, I know we discussed this earlier. Yeah. Uh, there's so many. Like, I'll have to mention the, Und- the Undisputed series. For anyone that has not watched this, <sighs> there's, th- I think, four films. So there's Undisputed 1, 2, 3, and then there's the last one's called Boyk or Undisputed. Uh, amazing actors like uh, Scott Atkins is in it, Michael J. White. Wesley. We- Wesley Snipes is in the first one. Wesley. Uh, but, dude, this Scott Atkins can fight like a mammal, man. He's, uh, yeah, like, true martial artist, so, like... All the fight scenes are full legit. Legit. Um, and obviously Michael J. White. I think the guy's got like bloody eight out. I love Michael J. White. He's got White. like eight black belts. Oh, <laughs> Michael J. in bone, Blood and Bone. Blood and Bone. Oh, dude. That's another film you got to go. If you haven't seen Blood and Bone with Michael J. White, you're missing out, baby. Oh, that... first scene, how he uh, annihilates Kimbo Splice. <laughs> <laughs> In the, in, the, in the prison. And they, they oh yeah. yeah. And they jab Kimbo with some uh, adrenaline or like steroids or something to like pump him yeah, up. Yeah, but Michael J. White decided no. He peppers like him. Yeah. And Crotchman and I, we, we love The Undisputed. Years ago, we used to watch it. And we actually, that's when we were doing our runs at like 4am in the morning to try and look like Boyka. Boyka. <laughs> Boyka. Boyka. <laughs> but yeah, that bloody good films, man. He says he says this line in the movie. He's like, I'm the greatest fighter <laughs> in the world. In the world. And, then, and all the people are like, Boyka. Boyka, 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 like, yeah, boyka, boyka, <laughs> bloody boyka, that's a undisputed classic, oh, classic, classic. and you touched on another one before, oh, hello Mia, oh, uh, Mia, hello, hello baby, hello, baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, you touched on this one before, uh, The Raid, yes, The that Raid, that is such a good fighting movie, like, probably one of the best one ever, one of the best, yeah, guys, go watch The Raid, it's, um, it's got subtitles, but let me tell you this, wow, Wow. Oh, if you dude. love seeing dudes get peppered, limbs getting snapped, just all round action to the cork to get your tenderloins exploding, go watch the raid one and two. One and two. One yeah. and two, yeah. Oh, what's the actor's name? He's a great fighter. Oh, 
baby! Sorry about that, guys. Our battery just died. But as I was saying, what a bloody fighter, isn't it, Cross? Such a good fighter. What a fighter. I wouldn't mind seeing another undisputed film in the near future with bad boy Boyka slapping. Oh, Boyka. <laughs> you still get the quivers to this day. I do. Mm. Anyways, next topic, Crotch. We're going to talk some naughty poppies coming out. And the first one I want to bring up is that 18-inch Iron Man. Oh, my God. What are your thoughts, Crotch? I know you're a big uh, Iron Man guy. A big Robert Downey guy. Oh, dude. It's so seductive. 18-inch mm. slammer. 18-inch slammer. And I was really impressed with the Pikachu and the Batman 18 inches. I remember we were a bit hesitant at the start. We pulled them out of the boxes. We were like, damn it, these are excellent props. And who doesn't love a bit of Iron Man action, that mechanical piece of tin? Oh, it's going to be so epic. Oh, dude. Strip his costume down and put it on my tits because I love it, man. Love it. Can you put a photo up of that 18-inch uh, banger? I'll smack it up here. Yeah, <laughs> baby. So, you guys, big Iron Man fan, keep your eyes peeled for that because that's an 18-inch slapper right there. And another slapper coming out in the paint recently, one of our favourite childhood Christmas movies, Jingle All The Way with Big Arnie. Slapping oh. it in the paint, baby. Turbo Man. Arnie. Guys, I'm pretty sure if you've seen that movie, it would have been your childhood dream to get a Turbo Man doll. I know Funko have recently made a Turbo Man doll. I remember I watched it at uh, Till's Pops, Big Bill and Vic yes. showed, showed Turbo Man. We love Turbo Man. That's an epic one. It's not out here yet in Australia. But yeah, Crotchman and I recently found out they're doing an actual Funko line on him. So we've got a few variants coming out here. They're doing a uh, classic um, Howard as Turbo Man holding the little Turbo Man doll. Oh. Bloody sick. And once again, that's Arnold in the, in the Turbo Man costume. We've got... Uh, Myron as Dementor, bloody epic with that big translucent, yes. sexy. We've got Howard, which again, Arnie with the big candy cane battling dudes oh. for that doll, baby. You got Myron with the bomb package when he goes to the radio station. And uh, one standard Turbo Man and another flying Turbo Man. So there's quite a few variants for our supple tits coming out. And we love it, guys. If you haven't seen that movie, go watch it. Another childhood classic. How can you not love Big Arnie? Big Arnie. Crotchman and I, remember we were in, uh, into our fitness phase watching those Arnie docos? Yeah. <laughs> so motivational. He's, he's such an inspiring dude. So inspirational. Even when he first moved here, he was like he was working out for multiple hours a day. Then he'd go learn English straight after that. And then he could take acting classes too. Yeah. And you're like, far Such out. a beast. He's a beast. And he's continuously been a beast his whole career. But yeah, Turbo Man. Jingle all the way. Go watch that film. We're excited. That's some more hot commodities for our sapples. So sapple. Yes. Another hot line. Very random line. We were looking at it the other day. Uh, the Marvel gingerbread line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How bloody oh. random is that? Out, out of all of them, which is your favourite? I'm taking away Cap, but you can't do Cap, eh? So you've got, oh. you got Big Black Panther, you got Captain Marvel, you got Iron Man, Black Panther. Did I say Black Panther already? Mm. Scarlet Witch, Hulk, and uh, Thor and Spidey. They actually oh. got quite a bit of a range. I'll have to go with the Iron Man. Yeah, the Iron Man looks super cool. Yeah, I, I love the Black Panther one just because it's a bit mysterious. Oh. I do like that. But what a cool line, guys. I would also... Makes me hungry. Oh, it actually does. <laughs> they, they actually look delicious. <laughs> and Crossman, I would really like to know, baby. Give us your opinions on this line. Do you like it? Is it randy for your tits? And we ain't talking Orton. Just give us your opinion on this line. We'd love to know because, yeah, we've only recently blessed our eyeballs with seeing it, so we'd love to hear everyone's opinions. Oh! oh. Yes! Ow! Oh. <laughs> oh, you're on there. So good! <laughs> so good! So good! Another chase coming out for our breasts. Uh, Mr. Burns Glow Chase. Oh, yes. I bring you love. I bring you love. <laughs> That's... Where do you rank that in the uh, top five chasers of the year? Because I'm going to say this. One. Oh, it has to be one. It's one. It's Mr. Burns. It's one. It's Montgomery. Mon Monty Burns. Monty. And that was a classic episode too. But I have to say a new chase that's come out recently, and I know you're feeling it, Bo-Katan without the helmet. Oh, oh, oh. What a fine chase, yeah? Oh, I love Bo-Katan. What a fine chase. And in our vlogs, like, we always show the Bo-Katan. The damaged one. <laughs> the damaged one, because, like, we really want it. <laughs> well, I actually saw on eBay, don't you dare buy this if you're hearing this, on eBay there's a standard common Bo-Katan and the chase Bo-Katan, oh. 100 bucks for the duo. Oh, Fast delivery. Bucks, eh? Fast delivery. Fast delivery. You want it in two days? Fast delivery. I want it. Fast delivery. Fast delivery. You want package quick? I want package. You want package quickly? I want it fast. Fast delivery. Oh, I love the fast delivery. You're a wizard? I'm a wizard. Bloody wizard, but I'm yeah. A wizard. <laughs> <laughs> that Bo-Katan chase. A sexy Mr. Burns glow chase. 
impeccable. And I don't know how I feel about this long, and I'll ask you now. That Marvel glitter new line coming out with the translucent slices of pepper. Oh, I don't mind it. I reckon they're Is pretty that? good. Uh, pretty good design. Not bad. Not the best, but um, I don't mind it. No, I feel it. It's not bad, but it's definitely it's not the uh, it's not a tit pop for us. No, nah, definitely doesn't make my tits pop. It doesn't. It doesn't. When Crotchman and I pop, 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 when Crotchman and I see slapping pops, we go off. Yeah, we go off. We're screaming. We're but yeah, we just didn't we didn't get it with this uh, glitter line. We're like, no, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> You like this triangle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to rip this thing, but I'm like, I'm too weak. Please don't rip it. <laughs> Please. What else is coming out? Crotch, man. What are we going? Ah, Charizard. Big oh, September, baby. Charizard. Yes. I'm <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm a dragon. Dead Charizard. I'm gonna say it. If they bring out a flocked Charizard, oh. it's gonna go to number one in the pocket monster list. Oh, 100%. Right? Flocked Charizard. He's a naughty dragon. And guys, without the naughty dragon, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> Far out. Bring out the naughty dragon, bring out naughty turtle, and bring out naughty plant. Yeah. You know. We need naughty turtle. We need naughty turtle and naughty plant. I'm talking Blastoise and I'm talking Venusaur, baby. Hairy green leaf. So hairy. Decadent leaf. <laughs> Decadent forest. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, we would really like to see those evolutions made, but yeah, Charizard's a great start. Amazing start. Seductive start. So seductive. Erotic start. Very erotic. What have we got next? Ah, one that's coming out in October, baby. Tupac loyal to the game. Oh. With the glasses. <laughs> yeah, cry. Cry, man! <laughs> Cool. It's so good. Oh, dude. It's so good. Dude, it's Crotchman and I love Tupac, baby. We, we love our rapper poppies. We've got, we practically got all the variants, except for uh, No Eyebrows Tupac and Original Biggie, which is basically like the two heavy ones. Yeah, the really heavy ones. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have them. But, um, we'll get them. Well, we, oh, we need those, dude. Especially uh, OG Biggie with the white suit and top hat. Oh, I love that one. I love that one, dude. Stop it. But, yeah, the, the new Tupac lore to the game. And I have to ask you. I've never asked you. I probably have. Tupac or Biggie? Contro oh. oh, I'm sorry. Controversial. Well. It's so controversial. <laughs> say it, Grosh. Oh. They're well, both good. Yeah, I probably have to say Tupac. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh. His music, I don't know, touches me on a deep level. Hail Mary. Hail Mary. Mm. I really love that song, Dear Mama, as well. Dear Mama's an yeah. excellent song. And who can forget? Hit him up. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. Yeah, now I'm going to say... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so hard. Uh, Tupac, just by a smidge. Yeah, a smidge. A smidge. Yeah, a smidge. Yeah. I love Biggie. I it's love so Biggie, but, but I'm with you there. Tupac, just, just by like an inch, baby. An inch, you yeah. naughty criminals. I just like how Tupac was a bit playful. Like that interview where he first got out of jail, he's walking along uh, the boardwalk next to the beach with that lady. He's like chatting to the ladies and stuff. He's, he really seemed like a funny dude, man. Yeah, so I'm smooth. Like, <laughs> smooth criminal. Yeah. And the freestyle where him and Biggie are sitting on the table together having a drink, they just start ripping oh. it up. Dude. Infamous when they were mates. I love that. I don't know where I got that from, but I just had to ask you that. I need to know. Come on, baby. All right, Crotchman. What do we got in store for the next few weeks? I actually don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. What have we got installed? Yeah. Um, We've been, kind of been going a bit, bit rowdy freestyle recently. Yeah. Maybe in a maybe in a week or so we'll go back out in the field. Mm. Yeah. It's just hard now because our hunts are... Uh, we're some, limited. Yeah, we're very limited we're at the limited. moment. We're limited. Um, I do want to dabble in a bit of mystery boxes in the next few weeks. Yeah. I've been seeing quite a few good mystery boxes too. 100%. So we'll, we'll dabble in some mystery boxes as well. And we're still in the market, guys. We're in the market, as you guys know. We uh, recently clocked over one year in our channel, and Crutchman and I promised that we would buy a Grail to uh, celebrate this one year. But we're still in the market. We're in the market. We're in the market. Yeah, we've got the funds. They're put aside, but we're just trying to hunt down that fine Grail. So actually, if you've got a couple of sweet ticklers for our tits that you're looking to sell, they're in that Grail category. Hit us up, baby, because we're fully, we're searching Please. every night. We're on eBay, we're on various sites. We're trying to find the perfect Grail. So every time we look at it, we're like, one year, baby. It's a yeah. fresh one for we us. We're going to make it a really special one. Exactly, exactly. I'm, I'm still leaning towards a bit of Bank Robber Joker. Oh, we... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was about to swear then, because like we've, I don't blame we've been wanting that for so long. So long. So long. You know what else is sick, and we've been looking at it? 
Super bad pops. Yes. They are sick, dude. Yeah. They're very good. They're high on our list. <laughs> They're very high. And we're going to share it too, guys. Crotchman and I, we've recently uh, got into the eBay bids. Yes. The bidding game. And we love it. We've actually scored two heavy hitters. Heavy. We'll be showing it in the next week or so. But um, should we reveal? Or should we surprise? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to reveal. Yeah, maybe reveal one of them. We've got a few bids on. Yeah, we've got, <laughs> we got a couple of bids in the market, guys. Um, But yeah, the other day, we were recently so blessed to finally acquire a Winter Soldier with the OG, OG Winter Soldier with the goggles. Yeah. Should I tell them the pennies? Tell them the pennies. We, tell, got, we got it at a good price. Guys, we, we, we monitor it. We've, we've wanted this girl for a long time now. We've been selling them for about four, four fifty. 450 AUD. Yeah. We picked one up for $117. Yes. From a bid on eBay. And get this. It gets sweeter. The deal gets sweeter like candy. Two days later, we found another one for 111 111 yeah. We got it too, babe. Yeah, yeah man. Two of the hardest grails we have wanted for so long. We picked two of them up. Mint condition for the price of less than one standard. So, guys, if you're out there, you're a collect get in the bidding game. We've, we've just discovered it and we really like it. We like it. It's very dangerous. <laughs> uh, we've just been sipping waters since, but uh, <laughs> it's a good game. And we're going to be bidding a lot more. We, we recently also bidded for a bloody uh, Man of Steel he signed by Henry Cavill. Yes. We lost it because we actually didn't check our mails, but that's when we redeemed ourselves with the Winter Soldier. But we'll find another Cavill, I we'll reckon. We'll find another Cavill. We'll Cavill. You know, it'll be good. Uh, Leonidas signed by... Oh, what's his name? Gerald Butler. Gerald yes. Butler. Can you imagine, dude? Dude. Oh, come that'd, on. That'd be so sick. And, <laughs> <laughs> and another one that we've been uh, monitoring for the past few weeks. If we could have your opinion on this, this would be great. Uh, signed Kylo Ren. Oh, this, yes, uh, yes. For 400 AUD. We're, we're a bit confused if it's worth the pennies. We love Kylo Ren. We love Star Wars. So we're more leaning towards it. If there's any reason you think we shouldn't get it, please listen in the comments please. too. Because like... Yeah, it's always great to get another opinion of other collectors too. So yeah, 400 AUD for a signed Kylo Ren. Hit us if that's worth it, baby. <laughs> what else, Crossman? What else <laughs> we got in the paint? Ah, yes, sir. I want to ask you this before. Favourite villain? Ooh, favourite villain. Yeah, yeah, I just feel like people want to know the Crosser's favourite villain. Favourite villain. Favourite oh. mastermind villain. I'll have to probably put the Jokers. Uh, Heath Ledger and Hakeem Phoenix. Very good villains. Very excellent. Both villain. actors uh, won Oscars for it. Oh, good villain. Good villain. Uh, I'm going to say the same. I'm going to say the same. <laughs> but, keep doing that. The other day, actually, I tried to cup a <laughs> pop in between my cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't hold it. Anyways, my favourite villain. Um... One under the rate, I've, I've said this for like every single one today. <laughs> one particular villain who turned to good, Winter Soldier, Bucky. Yeah, Sebastian Bucky. Stan. Thinking about Winter Soldier, he was a evil beast, dude, for, for majority of the movie. But I, I just feel he, he killed that role. He was sinister, he was dark, he was mysterious. Bloody when he flipped the car over with Nick Fury and he's walking towards <laughs> that, and there's that loud vibrate sound. You're so anxious, you're like, far out, how's he going to get out of this situation? Yeah, dude. And he rips it's the intense. door off, dude. You're like, what? <laughs> and even when he's fighting Captain America and, like, uh, they're next to that van and his arm just goes straight into the van and, like, slices it and you hear that mechanical sound. <laughs> Come on, baby. What a villain. So, yeah, um, underrated villain. Bloody Winter Soldier. And, yeah, bloody Heath Ledger Joker, man. Oh, dude. So naughty. Classic. Classic. But oh, I've got another question for you, sapple tits. You've got Vin Diesel in front of you, Billy Zane or Nicolas Cage. All right? You've got a bucket of lubrication. Ooh. They've stripped. Who do you lube? Oh, so Nicolas Cage, Vin Diesel... And Billy Zane. <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you, baby. I'm telling you, a full bucket of lube. Full bucket of lube. For no particular oh. reason, just to lube them up for the for the laugh. I'll have to say Nicolas Cage. Wow. <laughs> so you wouldn't be afraid that he'll get into a drunken fit and bottle you? Oh, I'd actually be very proud of him bottling me. Yeah, that's horrible. But uh, Nicolas Cage, if anyone hasn't watched Con Air, <laughs> watch it. It's Nicolas Cage in his prime. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's another bloody... Top Gun with uh, Tom Cruise. Yes. <laughs> Top Gun, baby. Tom Cruise. God, what an actor, man. What an actor. <laughs> For all of you that don't know, we, we love Tom Cruise, but Crotch and I, 
we've been watching Tom Cruise for many years yeah. since we children. We, I don't know, there's something just hilarious. Me and Crossman always laugh at Tom Cruise, man. His fight scenes, <laughs> yeah. his corny lines. Like, he's an like, excellent actor, don't get me wrong, but there's something about something Tom about Cruise. Him, and if you guys know what it is about Tom Cruise, because if you're experiencing the same thing, Crossman, tell us, man, because, like, such a cryptic mystery. Like, <laughs> what is it with Tom Cruise that plucks you so hard? Oh, dude. Big Tommy, the War of the Worlds, where he... <laughs> Where he punches on with that guy downstairs because <laughs> he, he won't keep quiet. Yeah. And he's trying. Oh, dude. Classic. Classic. Big, big Tommy. Anyways. Oh, what are your thoughts on the new black light pops, man? The 10 inch black light uh, Hulk from Thor Rangarok. I want to know. Oh, yeah. I really like, like it. Yeah, I like it, man. Um, I don't know. It's just it's really appealing to the eye. Yeah, it is. It is. Because I had to ask you because uh, Crotchman, he about a month back bought a 10 inch uh, Hulk Rangarok from a local website here. In the, you remember the hammer snapped in the yeah, mail? Yeah, yeah. I think it was the 18 inch one. That, the bigger oh, one. Ah, yeah. Big boy, the big boy. Big boy. Yeah, he snapped, he snapped in the mail, guys. So, yeah, we never got a replacement for that bad boy. So, nah. this, uh, we might have to get the black light one. Yeah, we definitely do. We definitely do, I think. Crotchman and I, we, we've fallen back on the black lights a little bit. I'm not going to lie, when they first released with uh, Captain America, Iron Man... Doctor Strange? Uh, Doctor Strange yeah, and yeah. Thor. Thor, yeah. yeah. How hot was that drop? Oh, dude. It so was, hot. Because they were hot. <laughs> they were very hot. Hot commodity. Sizzling my nips. Ah, <laughs> ah. They were hot. Oh. I remember the first of their kind. I remember me and you were checking the websites every day. It's, the day they came out, we were down there. We got them. Because we didn't know they were going to continue with the Black Light. I just feel like it's a bit flooded now. Don't get me wrong. I like a bit of the action. I like uh, uh, Black Light Ghost Rider. Uh, but uh, I don't know anymore, Carl. Yeah, I, uh, I feel you, I feel you. I don't know anymore. Like, I just feel sometimes when it gets too flooded, you, your nips lose a bit of the spice. Yeah, leaks. they get a little bit... Uh, leaky. Yeah, leaky. Leaky, rickety. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we still like the black lights, guys. Don't get us wrong. We're definitely going to be getting that uh, black light, black panther with the T combination. Mm -hmm. We were looking at black light Spodrum the other night. Oh. But yeah, it's just not something we're, we're too hot into at the moment. Actually, what what are we into at the moment? What do you reckon? Like, where? What's our hot commodity that we see and we're like, you, strip. <laughs> What is our, oh, what's our jugs right now? Dude, our jugs, it's like, Star Wars have always been like one of our big jugs. Classic. It's like, it's definitely Star Wars. Um, and like OG, OG pops right now, right? Yeah. We've been o into that. OG variants, um, sign pops as well. Oh, like, sign pops. So many juicy sign pops out there, but yeah. It's such a shame, but in Australia, we don't have access to like a lot of sign pops. Not like, many, yeah, yeah. How about the ones that we see sometimes in America? You're like, oh my God, oh, what man. do we have access to? Sign, um, signed Winter Soldier. We need it. <laughs> oh, oh, Aaron, you got it. We like it. <laughs> yeah, I'd do anything for that, man. <laughs> oh, we need it. Oh. But yeah, we'll be, I, I reckon um, moving forward, we're going to be dabbling in a lot of OG variants uh, and sets. <coughs> sets. Sets. I yeah. love sets, babe. We're getting into our sets too. And uh, that's about it, really, yeah. There's <laughs> not too much action going on. Yeah. But you know what? I, I want this so bad. Tech 63 by Quicks. Oh, yes. I love oh, the Tech 63s. Dude, guys, it is so hard to get Tech 63 here. Crotch my look. We can't find one bloody variant in Australia. If you're selling Tech... If you're selling Tech 63s right now, hit us up because we really like those, man. I like it. I like it. It's uh, from a Filipino creator as well, Quicks. He's... Oh. So, yeah. It, it, uh, irrelevant but crucial. If you've got a Tech 63 you want to sell it, hit us up because we're in the market. We're in the market, guys. Yeah, I've, I've hit all the topics here on, on this sheet, Crotch. Oh, what happened? We've got a new segment, baby. What happened to these actors? Oh, yes. <laughs> We've got three actors for your supple tits today. And we're, we're just very confused. What happened to these dudes? We've got Taylor Lautner. <laughs> what happened to him, man? we got uh, Sean William Scott. Stifler. Oh, dude, he was legendary. What happened to him? Yeah. And lastly, but definitely not least, Rob Schneider. Oh, three good ones. Where are they? We're going to start with Lautner. Not the biggest fan of Lautner. I liked him as Jacob. Yeah. I liked him as Jacob. What was that crappy movie me and you watched of him after? Uh, it was the movie called... Abduction. Abduction with Lily Collins, yeah. Dude. That, that was so bad. That was terrible, man. Dude, that was so bad. <laughs> You're disgusted. Out. Yeah. I, I feel like after Twilight, he fell off the, the market. Yeah. He was just a one-hit wonder. Like one he's hit. acting. He has no depth about him at all. 
Like, if he's watching this right now, like, Taylor... We're sorry. You're not good at acting. Yeah. <laughs> you're a bit corny, we're yeah. going to say. It. You're corny. It's corny, but yeah. you're ripped, dude, and that worked for you very nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Sean William Scott, dude, the mighty Stifler. Oh, Stifler. Where is he? Dude, he was in so many classics. Uh, American Pie, obviously. Dude, where's my car? Dukes of Hazard. Where are you, Sean? Holes? That movie Holes? Yeah. Holes? Yes, I do remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sean... No! Well, yes. No, it was that movie where he's the fireman and there's those creatures that come from space. Oh, yeah. No, I don't, uh, we'll yeah, find yeah, it. We'll yeah. put a picture, baby. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. You know, he's a fireman. But yeah, Sean William Scott, we loved him growing up. Just want to know where he is. And yeah, Rob Schneider, where is he? <laughs> oh, I love Rob Schneider. And he's Filipino like us. Yeah, we love... Well, he's... Uh, his mum very, looks very similar to ours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob Schneider, man. What was the last Rob Schneider film you saw? I can't even uh, remember, dude. Obviously, like, Juice Bigelow. But the last one I watched that had him in it was probably Fifty First Dates. And Big Stan. Was it Big Stan? Where he just goes to jail? And, oh, yeah. And he gets trained? Yes, that was a good one, too. That was... I remember that one. Good man. And he has to strengthen his nipples by hanging them on the lines. <laughs> and they stretch. And he's like, why do I need to do this? But in the end, it was crucial for him to have those strengthened oh, nipples. Oh, so good. Good, good. Yeah, bloody. Where are those actors, guys? If you guys know... Let us know. Let us okay. know now. Maybe not Taylor Lawner. We're not that interested to see where he is. We, he's probably just... Didn't he get fat? I think he got fat, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. All righty, all righty. I, I think that's... Uh, that's us, I think, Crotchman. We've hit all the topics. What a slapper of a session today. Yeah, good session. Part two, baby. Excellent session. Like I said, guys, we're going to do this very regularly. We had a look at some bangers. Uh, underrated pops. Out of the underrated ones today, which one do you reckon were the, the hottest... Oh, I love the bad boys, yeah, man. Yeah. I, I got, to be honest, I didn't even know we had them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like when you when you showed me the other day, I was just like, I saw the post on Instagram. I was just like, you got Mark Lowry? Yeah, Mark Lowry. You got Mark Lowry. <laughs> Mark Lowry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bad boys, man. Well, I'm pretty sure we got those a while back. That's probably why we got them like two years ago, isn't it? Oh, like, it was pretty a long time ago. Yeah, it must have been a while ago. But yeah, bad. I'm going to say bad boys for underrated pops today for sure. Out of the new pops that we got, what do you reckon? What's your hot pick today? Oh, uh, definitely that three it's pack. It's a three pack. It's the three pack, man. That three pack. But I'm, That's naughty. It's so naughty. I'm, I, they gave us no warning with that three pack. No, Funko gave not. us no warning. I remember one day I went on the Instagram... Follow us on Instagram, taco.pops and crotchman23. We get it slapping, we get it kicking. Please. But yeah, I swear to God, one day I just went on Instagram and I saw it, like, uh, like 10 photos. People were just posting this three pack. I was like, oh, dude, can you blow this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, come on, dude. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I'll see if I can blur it. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I still can't rip this. It's probably a good thing, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't. <laughs> But yeah, that three pack is a hot boy. Hot commodity. Yeah. Yeah, I love that today. What else do we have a look at today? Venomized pops. That's easy for us. Captain America. Is yeah, Captain top. America. 100%. 100%. Uh, movies, yeah. Like I said, we said Spider-Man. We got uh, Big June coming out as well. Ooh. We got bloody... Uh, uh, new Immortals movie. Yeah, Immortals. We got those to look forward to. You got Big Boba Fett coming up. Oh, Boba. Big <laughs> big uh, Obi-Wan as well. Yes. Uh, what's currently running? You got Marvel What If. Uh, Marvel What If. Uh, I would love to know your thoughts on it, guys. I didn't mind it at the start. Now I'm persuaded the different way. I don't know how I feel about it anymore. So, please, love to hear your opinion on that. What else is uh, rocking in the pain at the moment, Crotchman? What else? Are we, what else? What, what else is hot commodity? Season three of Mando tits isn't coming out yeah, for quite a while. Yeah, that, that'll be out like next year. Yeah. But Shimmy Timber. A lot of a lot of the big bangers are coming out like towards the end of this year. But in a couple of weeks' time, Venom two. Oh, our tits are going to be rumbling. Oh, they're going to be jumbling. Oh, what God. about the gooch? Oh, it'll be moist. Oh, my God! I regret saying that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mum. Um, <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> but, yeah, when's Guardians 3 come out? Guardians of the Galaxy oh, Vol 3. I think maybe next year, yeah. Oh, that's... That's, that's going to be a while. Wow. That's going to be... Oh, that's going to be a slammer. Still, yeah, something to look forward to. But, yeah, that, that, I think we've covered... Uh, that's what's going on in our lives at the moment, guys. Like, yeah. It's not nothing too randy. <laughs> and yeah, like bloody, we'll see you guys in the next few days. Hopefully you enjoyed this this potty. Um, if you want to see more of it, please engage. Just hit us up. If you want to jump on this potty with us, hit us up, baby. Yeah, hit us up. Yeah, we're always down for a bit of guests, a bit of laughs. We're just rad guys, not taking anything serious. 
And yeah, we got um, some big orders coming through this week, so we'll do a couple more vids this week, I think. And yeah, <laughs> might do a poo here and there, might do a wee. Let yeah, I might poo soon. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're gonna we're in trouble because the toilet paper's running out real quick here. Oh, real quick, guys! Jesus, I was just gonna like swear <laughs> then. I won't. <laughs> Looks like we're we're rubbing our uh, wiping our asses with tan bark. Oh, <laughs> that's not gonna be smooth. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys. Um. If you're a regular watcher of the show too, guys, we, we really want to start going. We've kicked it back, laid back a little bit, but yeah, we really want to grow the channel. We really want to make a, just a big community of funny contenders, guys. So if you're a regular watcher of the show, your mates with Crotchman and I, please hit up your friends, tell them to sub, hit up your family. Like, yeah, just spread the word of the boys, help the boys grow. Yeah, we just want to build a funny community, guys, so we'll really appreciate that love. What else, Crotch? Big Eric, shout out Big Eric, oh, baby. Oh, Big Eric. Big Eric, Hulk uh... 88. I'll put his uh, socials up in the corner. Yeah, yeah. God, you are so funny, sir. He's so funny, man. Um, yeah, we obviously just met you very recently, but God damn, man, you remind me so much of us. And oh. we appreciate the love. Like, obviously, you're on the other side of the world, but God, you're so funny, man. These slaps were dedicated to you today, and we appreciate it, man. And we're always questioning where you came from. We're like, this guy got sent from the gods, too. Yeah, dude. You're like, you're like gifted, gifted to us up. by the gods. Like, <laughs> You're, you're an amazing, you're, you're, a, you're an amazing man. We love you, yeah, Big Eric, Hulk 88, baby. 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 Yeah. And of course, baby. Uh, big shout out to our boys, Big Tills. Phil, oh. Sick Vic, Ill Bill, baby. Big love you. Big shout out to those boys, they're our brothers from overseas. If you haven't checked out Tills Pops, go check them out, baby, because they're hilarious too. Been having a few uh, <laughs> phone conversations with our boys. Bloody hilarious. Can't reveal, but it's hilarious, yeah. let me tell you. And, um, yeah, be kind to others, baby. That's all I can say. Keep letting your farts rip. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, guys, watch those movies we brought up. If you haven't seen some of the movies, too, like Undisputed, Year One, uh, A Million Ways to Die in the West, stuff like that, go watch them, guys. They're, they're good stuff. Whatever. Well, if you're into our humour, I can guarantee you'll like these movies, yeah? 100%. 100%. Yeah. Um, yeah. Stay safe, stay positive. Anything you want to say to our uh, mates out there in the field, baby? Oh, just a big thank you. Like, yeah. it's, yeah, it's, like, we appreciate the support so much, man. Um, you know, we make these videos, you know, for, for all of you watching and, you know, for us to put a smile on your faces and, I don't know, just giving back, it's it's a really good community and, um, yeah, like Taco said, we're trying to just grow it. Um, but yeah, appreciate it so much, baby. Oh, baby. Our goal one day is just to have a lot of people just screaming, baby, slapping their legs. Like, yeah. that's literally our goal. We just want a community of rowdies <laughs> that we all can jump on lives with. There's like, you know, like a hundred people just going, yeah, baby. Like, slapping them, baby. On, that's baby. our motive. So if you want to help us build that kind of community, huh, it'll be so appreciated. But yeah, guys, have a beautiful day slash night wherever you are in the world. We'll see you guys in the next few days with some uh, naughty slappers. Isn't it, Crotty? Yes. Stay safe, everyone. Wow. <laughs> See you guys.